Richard Krause. I really loved the staging. I thought the staging was so inventive because when I walked into the theater in New York, um, it's essentially one set that's made up of, it looks like, you know, uh, old waste bins, and not waste bins, uh, um, toxic waste toxic barrels, waste, yeah, yeah, barrels, yeah. and things, and then, but the way it moves and they, they reveal things about it, I thought it was really inventive and really fun. Well, also the director, John Rando, I mean, he's got a tremendous uh, eye for the uh, slapstick, and yeah. the, so the, the, you know, there are all these sophisticated jokes in the movie, uh, in the show, rather, the, the, you know, there's genuine wit, but there's also amazing physical humor, and, ti and the timing is spectacular. And uh, it's just beautifully directed. Uh, again, I have not seen the Toronto. I'm going to see it tonight, October 22nd, in preview, and uh, I'm going to go to see three shows uh, this weekend. And uh, from what I'm, you know, the little bit I've heard, the, uh, you know, the, it's already, all the previews are sold out. Saturday night, which is a preview, usually you'd, in a thousand seat the music box on Danforth has got a, a thousand seats, I believe. Probably, yeah. yeah, I think it's a thousand seats and it's been sold out. So that's pretty cool for previews. And, uh, yeah. you know, Louise Pitre is a fairly big star, but yes. it's, she's not. Um, um, well, she did Mamma Mia here forever, yeah. yeah. right? Uh -huh. So anyone who's gone to see a musical in Toronto in the last 20 years knows exactly who she is. Cool, yeah. cool. Well, that should help, but I, I you know, the, the, I, I, I think that the word of mouth is just spectacular on Toxic Avenger. Well, you I know, in New York, in New York, there was no money spent on advertising. Really? No radio. I mean, if there were, I never heard any. Right. They basically had the internet. They, they went on the internet and they got the trauma fans uh, talking and I helped a little bit there. But um, I think it's been totally word of mouth. I, I, they've certainly not taken an, any TV. It's been basically uh, in cyberspace and street teams and getting the fans motivated to, uh, to tell the, uh, the other fans. Well, you've been really successful using the Internet uh, for years. I mean, you were one of the first that I remember going along, and Troma had a really involved website. There was all kinds of stuff on it. There was always new stuff on it. And I, re I was getting like email updates and things like you really used the internet in a very clever kind of way in the early days. One of the reasons that Troma is now celebrating uh, our 35th year of uh, real independence is that uh, we've been embracing new technology ahead of time. And I think we were the first studio to have a website. We had one in 1993. And that's really been valuable. I mean, in 1993, there were things like CompuServe and AOL and CompuServe, I think, were battling it out for the supremacy of cyberspace. I mean, nobody, you know, there were very few people to email in those days. But as a result of Troma being in there first, you know, it was a way for us to communicate with our fans and for our fans to communicate with us. And uh, it's been extremely valuable in making Poultry Guys Night of the Chicken Dead. Um, and with Poultry Geist, I was able to uh, assemble a really great crew and cast from all over the world um, through the Internet. And the uh, c people came from Japan, Australia, Germany, France, a lot of people from Canada. About half the people who worked on Poultry Geist came from, t from Canada. A lot of it's because we shot in Buffalo, which is near uh, Toronto. But all these people from Australia, they all paid their own way to come to Buffalo and sleep on the floor and... Uh, you know, learn how to defecate in a paper bag uh, uh, because, of, and you know, because they heard about it on the internet, and our fans were able to uh, to help us. And you know, most of them didn't get paid. But well, uh, getting back to Toxic Avenger, the musical, or the Toxic Avenger musical, uh, clearly the uh, fans of Troma are well. You know, they're all young and they're very uh, new technology oriented, and they, you know, they they get their news from the internet. They they get their dates. They get their food. They, everything comes off the internet. Literally everything. So, you know, they don't need the uh, the review in the New York Times, or right. you know, they don't need to see things on TV. In fact, I think the trauma fans don't watch. So I think they get most of their entertainment now uh, from from the internet. From online. Yeah. Richard Krause.